Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Zero Ice Wolf here, and I'm back with another reaction. I know it's been a while since I've done one because school, work, and all. Also, I've recently gotten a strike on one of my videos, which got taken down because of this whole Copa Law thingamajig where you have to make sure the video, you have to save the videos for kids or anything. And that's so I was not able to upload for at least a couple weeks or so, like a week or two or so. So, hey, now that that thing is lifted, I am finally back and back with another reaction. Croc Gang released another I'm on that ass. And this time it is on the Popeye's chicken sandwich. The worst thing that pretty much happened in 2019. The thing is for me, I actually never understood the hype around this. Like, I was a bit curious and I actually wanted to try this. But I never got to because, like, the whole thing sold out during the summer when this hype, when the hype went around. And... All of a sudden, not even an hour after the whole sandwich thing, after the sandwich sold out, there were, like, fights all over Facebook, Twitter, every other social media, all over this sandwich. And I'm like, all this over a sandwich? I mean, come on, is it really that good that people have to be fighting over it? Besides, I, I'm pretty much, at the moment, I'm kind of team Chick-fil-A until I try the sandwich. I've been hearing from people that the sandwich is good and that it's better. Some people say it's even better than Chick-fil-A, but, hey, I'll be the judge of that whenever I get to try the sandwich. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Time to get on into this video. Popeye's the Chicken Sandwich by Croc Gang e &T. And make sure you guys go check him out for more of his hilarious videos. Starting in 3, 2, 1. You know, I thought after the first time around, when they discontinued this, that that was going to be the end of it. Right. All the hype was going to die down. Nobody was going to care anymore. But never in my wildest right. nightmares did I think that people would be going harder than hard like Lil Baby over a goddamn chicken sandwich. Exactly. A goddamn... The shit ain't even all that. It's really not. Like, yeah, for $4. $4. $4. $4. Four four dollars, four dollars, four yeah, for $4. Dollars? It's a pretty good size sandwich. sandwich. But I wouldn't even say that it's better than Chick-fil-A. And it damn sure isn't better than Zaxby's. I'm so what other Zaxby's. reason are y'all lining up for this sandwich like it's a sneaker release and giving these co-workers hell Dang. other than to follow hype like sheep and flex on social media? Because we were all making memes about how she was averaging a triple-double at the fire, but this woman is exhausted. She is tired. Somebody, Somebody schedule her a break. If, if you have Wait, ever worked on, a fast wasn't food that job, that one you know school? just how stressful that shit is. And 95% of the stress that is caused from a fast food job comes from these irritating ass, bum ass, entitled ass customers. Some of y'all need to learn how to fucking cook. Y'all yes. be sitting up there, where's my order? Where's my order? Go back in the fucking kitchen and do it yourself. You're obviously not the only fucking person here. I don't know why this guy is getting so wild up over this chicken sandwich not coming out in time. What the fuck is wrong with y'all niggas in here? When you Okay, that is one thing I never understood. Why do people gotta rush like people when you're getting your food? And the one thing I've always learned is always be nice to people who prep your food when you go out to eat. Cause they can easily do anything that can get you sick. Like they could spit in it, they could undercook it. The thing is, always be nice here to the people who serve your food. That's the lesson that's today, people. Made the conscious decision to sit in line for an hour. You obviously don't have anywhere important to be. Exactly. Time is money, and you made an expensive decision to go to Popeyes like shit. Customers be ordering their food like they own you. Like their order is what's paying your bills. But in reality, whether you come through those doors or not... My paycheck is gonna stay the same. The yeah. minimum wage is not rising because your bum ass came in here. I beg you to take your business elsewhere. And this is pretty bold to be trying this shit with <laughs> Popeye's employees. Like, you might not get body slammed at Chick-fil-A. Oh, I heard about this. Look at this face. I know the years are sh Okay, I've heard, I saw that video on Twitter. Apparently, from what I heard, like, she called one of the staff the N-word with the hard R. And, yeah, they went outside and they body slammed her. She, I'm not going to lie. She did kind of deserve it. But let's not act like service with a bitter attitude doesn't come with the experience off rip. Y'all just adding extra factors right. to this already fucked up equation. Customers cussing out and fighting employees. Right. Employees fighting that other thing. employees. Kick your ass, you piece of you nigger ass motherfucker. Oh, you know he was about to get his ass beat. Yeah, he did. Moments later. Lines stretching out that are in the middle of the road. Like, what is this? Like, seriously, all this is a sandwich. 
it's never that serious. It just became an expensive ass trip to Popeyes for no reason. I mean, granted, her car is already a piece of shit. <laughs> Trust me. I should know. But now she's bumping oh, in the geez. other car trying to cut ahead. It's like, bro, it's not even about the fucking sandwich anymore. Some insurance better be exchanged. Close the window. <laughs> The fuck is this guy doing banging on the window hard as shit? Like what? You you want to fight him? Huh? You want to fight him for actually being in line? This exactly. is pandemonium. Jesus like, look people. at this man. Is this man standing on the counter? What mean this way? Okay, I'm not judging the guy singing. He actually did sing pretty good. But one thing I want to know is why is his dirty A feet on the counter where the food is getting served? That is a health code violation in itself. I'm surprised this place did not get shut down. They said that man broke out in the song like he took a bite of a jellyfish sandwich with jelly. <laughs> hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. Won't you listen to me? Meanwhile, I'm trying to figure out why are your dirty ass shoes yes. on the counter where food is served. I'm pretty sure you just broke some type of health code violation. That is so This is in unacceptable Let me grab. conditions. Unacceptable. <laughs> but the nail in the cover with all this is that somebody went to the extreme of stabbing uh, yeah. another man to death over a four dollar chicken sandwich. It's not sandwich. that serious. This would be the DMV too, where people die over phone pauses, concords, and heli Hansons. Like a chicken Jeez. sandwich, my guy. It's not even like you could oh, resell. No, the shit this. will go bad in hours. Ugh. This is fast oh, food. We don't even know if this is real chicken. This is Wait, ridiculous. Like the jokes about us being in a Boondocks episode were funny at first, but this has gotten okay. out of hand. Cr okay, sorry for pausing it again. <laughs> people, ever since that whole chicken sandwich fight went out, people were saying that Boondocks predicted the future with uh, whole, with the episode where that where they ran out of fried chicken. <laughs> but that was actually a reference to something back in the past where Popeyes ran out of fried chicken before. <laughs> like, I'm wondering how they run out of chicken. It's Popeyes. That's the main thing they serve. I'm springing up every single day because of a chicken sandwich. Why are most of these from Maryland? This steroid-infused chicken got us looking like the new Florida. And is that <laughs> what y'all really want? And yet, at some point, this trend is going to die down, just it like is. all the other ones. Please. But that's not the point. This mob mentality to go crazy over stupid trends like this got to come to an end at some point. Because I yeah. promise you, the day I die... Thanks, didn't want to pay for the whole... <laughs> ...over a chicken sandwich? I'm coming after all y'all in the afterlife. Anybody involved has ended up in an episode of a haunting. Fuck is they talking about? So to the Popeye's junkies. Some of y'all need intervention. <laughs> But more importantly, a lot of y'all need Jesus. Yes. Because if your soul is easily consumed and corrupted by a $4 Popeye's chicken sandwich, then there's no telling what you could easily be influenced by to do damage and chaos. There's a lot of people in this world that can't function as regular human beings. And situations like this perfectly display that. Jeez. <laughs> I have to agree with him on that. That I am so glad that whole hype is dying down. Jeez, because it was never that serious. Like, all this over who had who had the best chicken sandwich. Because it was mainly a war between Popeyes and Chick-fil-A. But I am so glad that's done. And, heck, the fact that this year is almost over, too. Jeez. But anyway, that's enough from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And check out the link in the description down below for my social media. I'll follow my Instagram, Twitter, and for Affinity. That's where I'll always be. And I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, make sure you guys go check out Croc King ENT for this. He is hilarious as heck. And as always, my name is Zero Ice Wolf, and you just got ice. Peace, and have a very wonderful day.